Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia with Raindrop Lila and today we're going to work in the butterfly journal. It's almost done. Look how cute it is. I love the way it just, um, I can just display it like this. Okay, and look how chunky it's gotten. We still have a few pages to finish. I'm going to actually go through it because every time I start a project, I like to go through my pages and kind of see where I'm at and what I need to finish. Like I need to finish these pages. I need to finish this one. And then as I flip through, I can kind of get ideas of what else I want to do. Like this is empty. I'm wondering if I should leave it empty for just some journaling or if I should do anything there. Okay, and then there's that side. I'm really loving how um, how much detail there is in this. Okay. I love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, let's see what I want to do. I had an idea here. I think I want to add a little bit of, let's see. Do I have some? I'm trying to kind of use kind of what I have on hand or nearby. And I'm thinking I want to add a little bit of doily on here, like right there. It's very subtle, but um, I like it. I think that that's a perfect little detail. Okay, I'm going to add this. on here. Okay. And now I think I want to add, since I have a quote on here, I want to add some kind of, of image. And I have thankful for the blessings in my life. And I have a bunch of little pieces here I already cut out. So I have like this little section of birds. How cute is that? I don't know. I can maybe cut this out and make it work. We'll see. We're going to Kind of keep moving on. I have that little tag. Let's see. I have these little birds too. Ooh, these are cute. Aren't those cute right there? I'm kind of loving that. Okay. We can keep looking though. Have these little birds. I have this little. It's got a little butterfly right there. That's really pretty too. I kind of like these more though. Let's see right here too. This would work here too maybe. Or right here. Let's see. Let's keep going. And then this one too. This one's cute. I like that too. I'm not sure which ones now. Okay, these are a little bit... Oops. I just dropped my glue. Okay, so I got these little birds. It says nature's therapy, that's so cute. Okay, I can do this one also. See that, I can do that. Or I can do that on this side. I don't know. There's another page here that I wanted to do something in. Let's see right here and this is more blue and pink this might work here isn't that cute i might use this here i'm gonna leave that there and maybe we'll come back to that but for now i'm thinking i like this right here and let's see what else do we have set that aside this is cute too. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I love the little writing. That's cute. We'll see if I use that one. And then there's this one. I like that. Oops. Okay. 
I'm just going to make a little pile of some of these here. I'm kind of, I think I want to go more with those. And then these will probably go for a different project. Oh, this is cute, the little fairy. Hmm, what else can I use? I can do a yellow rose. Let's see. I'm going to trim the rose just a little bit to see if it fits better. Let's see, I'm thinking, what if I add the leaves still? I don't know if I like the way I cut the flower out. I feel like I cut too much off right at the bottom here, but it looked kind of weird. But we can fix it by layering some more greenery on there. See that? So we could do that, but I don't, I don't know if I like that. You know what I think this needs? I think this needs a little bit of book page. Like maybe a little bit like some words in the background. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to add a little bit of ink on the edges. I like that. And now I'm thinking though, what if I add a little bit of some embossed paper too? Maybe peach. Bring some peach in here. I love this color. Isn't this pretty? I love Heather's paper. I feel like it needs a little bit more just underneath it. So I'm going to add a book page and then the embossed paper. I love the peach. It kind of picks up from this side. I think that'll be really pretty. Just add this little bit of peach embossed paper. Okay, I got a little bit extra right there, but that's okay. Isn't that cute? Okay, I love that. Let's see what else. Maybe we should do some of that too. I like that too, actually. That looks good. I like the way the craft um, color it's just so pretty against the peach. I think that's really pretty. And I feel like it kind of, um, it grounds the birds a little bit, if that makes sense. See, isn't that cute? I like that. Okay, so now I think I want something a little bit, like down here too, like, maybe like that. Let's see. I think so. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. 
And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I want to add some of this on here. Let's see. I'm just going to cut a little bit out and see. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it yet. But I think this is kind of cute. Nature's therapy. Like maybe I'll layer it somehow. Okay, maybe I'll use this paper. Let's see, maybe I'll use the blue instead. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's see. Maybe like this. Okay. Maybe this needs to be matted like this on there. Oops, I got a big glob of glue. So I'm just gonna use my fingers to put it on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut this out. Okay. I'm gonna ink these edges just a little bit. Okay, and then let's see, what shall we do next? See, isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue in here. It's so nice to use some embossed paper because of the texture. And I actually pulled out a bunch of my papers from Heather with Rose Hill Paper Cottage. And I'm trying to keep them on my desk because if I don't have things out, I keep forgetting to use them. So I pull them out and hopefully I'll be using them more now. Okay, let's see, does that need anything else? Maybe I can, tie this around like this. Let's see. I kind of want a little bit of the string hanging down. I think it's so, so cute. So, Let's see if I can tie it on here. You can staple it too. I was going to staple it. But then I thought maybe I'll just tie it up. And I got glue on my hands. Ugh. Okay. Let's see. I'm thinking that this needs little pop-up dots or little pop-up squares like these guys just because it'll give it a little bit of more um, dimension and obviously this will make it, make it more bulky but I don't mind that honestly. I just want it to look really cute. Okay. Then, okay, so I'm thinking to put that somewhere here. And then the birds, I think the birds should have the pop-up dots also. I'm going to put a couple extra. Okay, I think on the birds, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to double them up maybe. Should I do that? Let's see. No, just once is enough. I guess this, if I want that one to, to stand out more, I might want to make them higher or double, but I don't think I need to. I hope that makes sense. So since this is the, the flatter part, the part that comes, um, that's on the page first, like sometimes you want, might want this one lower than this and this one higher, but you know what? I don't mind. 
And there is my page. Isn't that cute? I love that. I think that's really cute. So cute. I love it. Okay, I think that um, I'm going to keep it short. And um, this was the session for today. Just a little bit of collaging. I added the birds as my focal point and my like visual for this page. I added this little um, this little title. This is from my flashcard. Um, let's see. I have I have these little flashcard labels, and these ones I minimized. So I printed them two to a page. So when you go to print, you hit five by seven, I believe. And so I printed these both to a page and I, I also made sure to um, click a button that says to make sure you include the whole picture. So it sizes it down so that this is smaller because my butterfly journal is a smaller size than a regular journal. And I wanted them really tiny and I think that's so cute. Isn't that cute? I just love it. So cute. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell button. Bye-bye. We'll see you guys next time.